two of the range in front of us. We've got a sweet fish meal mix and a high fish meal mix, CP70. There's three different colours of the high fish meal, which is CP70. We've got a red, a black and a green colour. And that's the sort of summer mix. That's the mix that you look to use in the summer. Whereas the sweet fish meal mix, that's lowering fish meal and got a sweet biscuit, um, which gives it the, the sweet taste. Andy, you're going to run us through how to mix these mixes up properly. They're both mixed up very similar. Yeah. So, so they're, both, they're both basically mixed very similar. What you've got to be careful of them when mixing these mixes, it's got a high protein and fish meal content, so it gives it a little bit of a stickiness as well. Now, it says on the bag, method mix, but you can also use this for, you know, it's not just a method mix, basically. It's an all-round, this is what, I'd, this would be my go-to summer ground bait, basically. Now, to mix it, take your ground bait straight out of the bag. You've got to be careful not to overwet it too quick. Let the ground bait activate and make it, you know, if you overwet it too quick, you can kill it straight away. So, slowly add a bit of water. And basically, all you're doing is just trying to, make them particles absorb the water so you can see there it just needs a touch more water one thing you've got to be careful with with pellet based ground baits is they don't need as much water no you can end up it goes cloggy yeah. you don't want it going cloggy because then it's not going to break down quickly but that's, so, a, that's a good thing that it's got plenty of pellets in it especially in the warmer yeah. months they love eating pellets so in the summer months you know they need that food content they're looking for that food con content when i'm getting to the final stage now i'm just adding it by hand now so they want that they want that um food content in the summer so you can see there now we've got some water into it you can see that on the camera there it's getting to that like cloggy stage now i'm going to leave that because that's as much water as i can get into the mix so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave that to take the water on give it five or ten minutes and when i come back to it in five to ten minutes blue peter style here this is what it'll end up like I've put this through the riddle, so all you do is you take your ground bait, chuck it back through the riddle. Once it's took all the water on, the particles all go into little individual particles then. Chuck it back through the riddle. Any lumps you're left with, push them through the riddle. And then what you're looking for, this is quite a dry mix at the moment. So one-handed squeeze and it ends up, it breaks down really quick. If I wanted this mix for say margin fishing, then at this stage I'd add a little bit more water. So you can tinker with it very slightly, but to start with, let it absorb the water. Don't just mix it straight and think, right, that's it done. Slowly but surely, mix it, let it absorb the water, push it through a riddle, come back to it, see what it's like. If you want it around a method feeder, you might want it to break up quickly if you're catching a lot of fish, so the bait can expose off the feeder very quickly, the fish can get to the bait quickly. If you're waiting a bit longer for a bite, then what you want to do is add a little bit more water so it's a little bit more stickier and it'll break down slightly slower. The same for the edge. If you want to use it for edge fishing, a little bit more water, it'll give it a little bit more weight and then it'll keep the fish from blowing it everywhere. So it's a very versatile mix, but like Paul said, you've got your high fish meal content, which is your CP70. So that's more suited to the summer months when the fish are feeding aggressively. And then when the fishing starts to tone down a little bit, spring, autumn, winter, you want to look towards that sweet fish meal mix because that biscuit is not as much food content as the a high fish meal, uh, proteins and fish meals in it. So two mixes, mix up very similar, but just be careful when you're mixing them. Don't over wet it, let the ground bait do its work. You want the ground bait, you know, you want a bit of activity yeah. depending on what you're doing. And then if you want it where you want it for edge fishing or you know, any type of fishing where you might be feeling it a bit stodgy, we say with worms and casters, things like that, then you might just want to add a little bit more water to it. But once you get to that final stage, just start adding it by hand then. Don't be keep pouring it in. If you've got a drill, it makes life even easier. So that's two of the range. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at some of the other range and then we'll do a little bit of fishing, a little demonstration, show you how to get the best out of things such as the method mix and stuff like that. So CP70, sweet fish meal, dead simple get on them in the summer.